Our next story is about Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance. He's having a rough time on the campaign trail. Yesterday he was in Wisconsin. Kamala Harris was also there to campaign and they both happened to be at the airport at the same time. So Vance tried to confront Harris. He approached her aircraft but couldn't find her. When reporters asked him about this, J.D. Vance said he just wanted to check out the vice president's plane. If this sounds bizarre, it's not his first or worst such act. And observers now say that such antics may be hurting Vance politically. Our next report tells you how. Choosing a vice president is perhaps the first big decision any future American president makes. It conveys their political priorities. It also tells the American voter who will replace the president if they can no longer stay on the job. By that logic, Trump couldn't have done better than J.D. Vance. As one expert said, Trump picked a younger clone of himself. J.D. Vance ticks all the boxes. He embraces Trump's hardline MAGA policies. He appeals to the white working class blue collar voters. That's Trump's core voter bank. But J.D. Vance has been having a rough time connecting with the voters. A few days ago, he tried to crack a joke at a rally, but it didn't land as he'd hoped. Democrats say that it is racist to believe, well, they say it's racist to do anything. I had a Diet Mountain Dew yesterday, and one today, I'm sure they're going to call that racist too, but... <laughs> I love you guys. Yesterday, Vance was campaigning in Wisconsin. Kamala Harris was there too. Vance tried to confront her. After getting off his plane, Vance headed straight towards Air Force Two. That's the vice president's plane. When Vance's team saw him walking, they tried to catch up to him. The reporters, sensing a potential confrontation, also tried to get closer. Can we walk over there? Hannah? Hannah, can we walk over there? But nothing came of it. When J.D. Vance returned, he met with the reporters. He tried to put a different spin on the event. Uh, I, just, I just wanted to check out my future plane, but I also wanted to go say hello to the vice president and ask her why Kamala Harris refuses. Why does she refuse to answer questions from the media? You did see the vice president. I point. saw her car. I did not see the vice president. The, windows are... the Democrats sense an opportunity. They are intensifying their attacks on Vance. J.D. Vance actually said that people with children should be assigned more votes than people without children. And that if you have a kid, you get like an extra vote, but then you get to control that vote until they turn 18. The internet is making things worse for Vance. A joke on the internet about a couch in J.D. Vance has taken a life of its own. It has led to countless memes across social media. The trend grew so big so quickly that even the Trump campaign couldn't ignore it. They had to release a statement. The Trump campaign said that they won't talk about couches at all. Thank you. All this may seem quite bizarre, but it has started to affect J.D. Vance politically. According to a new poll, he is now the least liked VP nominee since 1980. Will this impact Trump's fortunes as well? In the past, VP candidates have derailed an entire campaign. In 2008, the Republican candidate, John McCain, picked Sarah Palin as his running mate. On paper, she seemed like an excellent choice, but on the campaign trail, Palin proved to be a liability. She seemed unprepared during interviews and struggled with her speeches at rallies. McCain later regretted picking her as the VP candidate. Trump, who has seen a revival in his political fortunes recently, wouldn't want to repeat that same mistake. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment.
So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree a News 18 network initiative. On the fifth day, the P20 World Cup run by the US moved across to the West Indies. What can you expect? Hello, I'm Alice Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Today, we have a special show. Start with a report on India's sister group of three across. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 